Hello and welcome to my Wednesday. I'm starting to sound a bit like a cracked record here, but it's another beautiful day. I'm getting my bedding washed as we speak. That's going out on the line. I've got one load out already that I did first thing this morning when I got up. Filled up the bird feeder. Done the dishwasher. Got the vlog up. And today I've got an HRT review down at the doctor's. I've got to go and see the practice nurse and talk about how it's been going, I suppose. I can tell you more about that later once I've had it because I don't know, I've never had one before. I have been getting on great with the patches, but not last night, but the two nights before that I was awoken all the way through the night with hot flushes again. First time since I've been on HRT, which is probably just under three months, I think now, maybe a week short of three months. But I didn't get it last night, and it's the same patch, because I was wondering if it was a faulty patch or something, but I've kept the same one on. I thought, well, I'll keep it on <laughs> and see. So yeah, I don't know what that was about, but it, I mean, it is a heat wave, and I did have fluffy fleecy pajamas on and a duvet in a heat wave. So I might have just been hot, but it felt like hot flushes. It didn't feel like hot. So because it was coming and going constantly, you know, it kept me awake for two nights, it's a bit annoying. It's about 10 to 1 now, so I've got a little bit of time before I need to stop for lunch to get some work done at my desk. So I'm going to grab my second coffee out of the pot of the day and go and do that, and I'll speak to you when I'm stopping for lunch. Right, it's half past now. I'm not finished, but I'm making some good progress. You know I'm mean business when I've got both screens connected. And you know I'm engrossed when I've hardly drunk any of the coffee. I've done one already and just put it in this temporary folder, but I need a bigger one, because look, when you fold it, look, it sticks out. <laughs> the works ones are just not adequate. Right, I'm gonna go and get some lunch. The works ones are adequate if you haven't got poly pockets, but if they're in poly pockets, they stick out too far. Oh, that's done. I think I'm gonna eat first though. Oh, actually, I can hang it out while I'm heating my food up. Come on then, food. <sighs> I've got some leftovers from yesterday. I was gonna have that macaroni cheese, but I think I've got enough of this. Let's see. Mm. Yeah. Well, that was productive, dinner's heated up. And my sheets are all out on the line drying. And I've got about 15 minutes to get out, so I better eat this quickly and speak to you later. Oh, and while I think of it, it's 28 degrees in here. I'm not feeling hot at all, I'm just comfortable. My daughter, by contrast, is suffering. She said she didn't get to sleep till 6 a.m. because she was just so hot in the night. I, by contrast, woke up cold <laughs> and uh, went back to bed with the duvet on. <laughs> that was the early hours of the morning because I actually did go to sleep without a duvet first time this year. Um, but anyway, yeah, she's suffering and I'm just, comfortable. I'm just feeling sorry for her and everybody else, all my friends and all that. I'm sitting in the doctor's waiting room with my shopping trolley because after my appointment I'm going to go to the chemist to drop off some old medication which was in my bathroom cabinet. I had a bit of a clear out and I need to go to the post office and post the parcel I packaged up yesterday and I also want to do a big shop in b and I'm in the post office now. I've just gone to the prescription place, um, the chemist, whatever you call it. Dropped off my old out-of-date meds, put my prescription back in and I'll go and collect that shortly. I've got a stash of coat hangers in there. There's a clothes shop with a big box of coat hangers outside it said free coat hangers and I just so happened to sort of get short of them today I was thinking today I must get some so that was really good timing I've dropped off my parcel now and I'm just back in the chemist waiting for my prescription doing a bit of language learning god that was a long wait in the chemist half an hour wait although I did spend some of it getting my uh, package delivered I'm looking in the works at the moment at the academic diaries they're nearly all like the ones that have got a whole week like a double spread I'll show you hang on doesn't suit me at all there's not enough room because I like to do my whole daily to-do list on it as well and, you know put sticky notes in with train times and stuff now uh, this is the right size I'm not awfully keen on the spiral bound but it's the thing they've got I'm kind of keen to crack on and get one now so I'm going to get that it's four pound well it's crowded in B&M I um, had to come to where the people were queuing to get a basket because they're all gone um I need washing up liquid I'm going to try this one 129 for the fabulous blueberry sugar well it sounds very exotic anyway oh it says it's vegan on it I need laundry capsules I've been doing a bit of maths on my calculator with the non-bio ones and I've decided that the personal three-in-one are cheapest if you buy a packet of 66 works out a little over 18 pence per capsule that one's cheaper, that works out at about 15, well, 16 pence a capsule, but I don't think it's non-bio, and I don't know about the strong fragrances in our household of sensitive skin, so I'm going to leave those and stick with what I chose initially. I'm running low on deodorant. I'm going to get some of this, that's £1.35 for that one. I'm debating whether this is a waste of money or not. For a pound you get instant cooling mist. I think you're just meant to squirt yourself with it to cool off. Um, I don't know, I mean, some people are really, really uncomfortably hot, aren't they? I want some more moisturiser, and I do use the simple one, but I use the one with 15 uh, SPF, is that what you call it? Oh, I tend to get my letters around the wrong way when I'm doing acronyms, or whichever one it is, uh, and that isn't so. I'm gonna leave that one. Oh, crowds have gone away now. I want some bird seed for my feeder, because I've literally just run out. Um, I'm gonna get this one, peckish. 
Ooh, no mess, I believe that when I see it. I usually fling it everywhere and it gets in the cracks and starts germinating and growing. I'm gonna go down the food aisle now. I came in the wrong way. I literally came through the tills to get a basket and then, I don't know, I'm doing everything backwards. It is nice having my daughter around at the moment because I've got the pleasure of buying her things. <laughs> like basically food but I don't know it's just something nice about it. That said we have got noodle wars going on at the moment instant noodles I'll tell you about it again but oof. I want a big thing of Vimto but it looks like I'm getting a small thing of Vimto um it's a pound though so I get two I've got my trolley you see so I'm quite enjoying just taking my rucksack to the shops and then I don't want to bring much back noodles the offending noodles I'm gonna get some I'm gonna get four now the problem is my daughter's them. She keeps eating them instead of balanced, healthy meals, and um, they're a bit void of nutrition. Basically, this is the problem, and it's all my fault because she's seen me doing it. So I basically haven't been buying them very much at all. But she's—it's been futile because she's just gone out and spent their own money on them. I've been having to go without then, so I might hide these actually. Mm. Box of the individually packed Bell Vita biscuits, one pound twenty-five—a real staple for my lunch boxes. I'm going to stock up on the no-drain tuna and sunflower oil. Uh, it's £3.29 in here, as you reckon she paid a fiver for it. Pack it like that near yeah, Grandad's. So let's get a couple. She really likes this, and I'm quite happy for her to eat it because it's got a good amount of iron and protein in it. And while I'm here, I'm quite partial to the salmon. So it's £3.99 for three tins. Very nutritious. And it goes. Decided to try some weaker lager for a change. It's like two point something percent. Probably horrible, but I'm gonna give it a go. I'm having an impulse to buy my daughter an impulse present just because and I don't know. <laughs> I think she'd kinda of like that. She loves Lego at the moment, but she likes the kits, you know. Look at his little cute face. There's quite a big selection of Lego here. This poor family they have to literally wrestle their children out of the aisle because they want everything. I know it's daft, but I just, I think she'd love it. <laughs> I honestly do. It's like eight plus, so it's totally too young for her. Mm, she likes to use them as ornaments, though, once they're done. And mm. that said, they've got Harry Potter Lego. Look, what's that one? Dobby. Oh, he's 25 quid. I'm afraid yeah. I'm too stingy to stretch to him. I'm going to get the bunny because I think she's going to like that face because it's a little bit kind of grotesque and cute at the same time. It's a bit kind of over the top, you know, and I think it will amuse her. I think it's because like she's not a child anymore, but there's just a little bit of child-likeness left and I think I'm making the most of it before it fizzles. I need to go home now before I spend any more money. Oh, look, 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 look Doctor Who figurines. No, in the gym. No, don't get her Doctor Who figurines. She has enough stuff. <laughs> She loved the Lego. I came in, she appeared at the top of the stairs in a t-shirt because she's just so hot, basically. And I said, I've got a present for you. And she went, what? She sounded very suspicious. And when I showed her, oh, she went mad for it. Especially for the seal and the cockatiel, whatever. She said, especially this dude. Look, he's got a Mohican. <laughs> Or a mohawk or something. Anyway, she's uh, taking it straight upstairs. I'm going to unpack the shopping, put it away, and I'm going to get back to work at my desk. It's ten to five now. I have finally done all my parts. That one comes out and then um, folds across the stand. Now, these parts are going to be further rationalised as I get to know the material, really, because they're a bit long-winded still, but they're nowhere near as long-winded as they were. So anyway, that's good afternoon's work, and that will serve me very well in my rehearsals. I'm going to get down in the cellar and practice now, as I said, but later on, Izzy has promised to help me move that to there in the corner and I've measured and it will fit and that way I can shunt this one along shunt those rainbow drawers along as well so they're flush with the edge and I think it's just going to have a nicer feel in here actually because it's jutty outy but it's always a pain when I'm getting in and out of that corner so yeah that should be good it's quarter past six I've done my practice I've come up from the cellar and now I'm going to get some dinner on hey I forgot to tell you how the HRT review went well it, it was just fine she took my blood pressure I got weighed and then she said fine and fine and did me another three months worth on prescription, so yay. Nothing else to report about that, really. I told her how well I was getting on with it. She seemed delighted. For there. Dinner's going to be extremely straightforward tonight. We're just having boiled potatoes, although actually I think I might strain them once they're cooked and just fry them in a little bit of butter. And also just simply boiled broccoli, boiled carrots. This is because I've got Izzy eating. She likes simple food like that. And, and these that are pre-cooked and ready to eat salmon that I got from Lidl yesterday. They're still in date. Izzy made the cockatiel at once when I bought that Lego. I'm just going to go and ask her if I can put it in the vlog. She said yes. <laughs> Here he is. He's bigger than I expected, actually. His wings move. And that goes right around all the way. <laughs> 
Oh, it's a cutie. She says it will make a lovely decoration for her room and she's going to so alternate it. She's going to make the others sometimes because obviously you have to take it apart to make the other two creatures, don't you? Anyway, yeah, that's a cute thing. Oh, and he's poseable. Look, look, his legs go like that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video. Could you please give it a like if you happen to like it, innit? Yes! And subscribe down below to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!